In the last episode, my shape moves ahead of me and catches some ethereal lights as it slips into a side passage. It's a squid! Now back to reading. We're right back. Okay. The brickwork in this section of narrow passage is uniform and regular, and narrow stone columns support the ceiling. There are no distinct carvings on any of the walls or along the columns. I realize with no small sense of dread that I've been a fool for somehow making or not somehow making my progress through this subterranean maze. I am lost. Great! I am repeatedly coming across the same decorative motifs. human native figures dressed in decorative clothing, assuming same with the ceremonial outfits, and ornate headdresses with serpentine or tentacle extensions. Some of these tentacle limbs are squamous, squamous in their decoration, suggesting a definitive serpent connection. While there's a carved with equally spaced circular projections that are larger in diameter at the thicker ends of the limbs, and shrink in size along the narrowing length of the appendages appearing more cephalopod in nature. Perhaps centuries ago, the civilization discovered a species of freshwater octopus or squid, either in the local river or perhaps the subterranean waters of this cavern system, and chose to worship the creature. Could it be that the same creature which unwittingly dragged me beneath the surface, perhaps mistaking me for prey? It thinks you're lunch, and it's leading you along because it can. How long have I been down here? Good question! The hand-hewn passages are broken in their uniformity by the occasional natural cavern. The stalactites and stalagmites form otherworldly pillars grasped by bony fingers and strings or chains of bulbous rocky spheres. The glowing ethereal lights of this unusual moss plays odd shadows across the unusual shapes. Now occasionally my mind interprets Elder creatures that flicker and coil between the silhouettes. Okay, I read this before. This looks horribly familiar. Am I going in circles? Probably. I am at a room in this subterranean maze where huge cyclopean stones form irregular patterns in the walls, and a huge gesturing face is carved in the same manner as those at the surface complex. The light here is bright and natural, affording through a perfectly circular hole in the slightly domed ceiling, I think. Yes, the protrusions of the carving might allow me adequate hand and hole to attempt to climb upwards. I do believe that I can reach the lip of the hole from the edge of the well and maybe pull myself through. Of course, I've not yet found Harriet. Will I ever find this place again if I leave and return with proper equipment and more men? Or will I be too late for her? Can I bring myself to leave her? <sighs> Choices. It took a lot just to get to this point. I mean, if we go but if we... I th Personally, I think we'd have a better chance if we brought more people than just us going by ourselves. But, I don't know. It would be better if we brought more people than just to keep going by ourselves, because either way, I think she's gone. So, I don't know. In me, my mona da 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 Okay. Okay, what I'll do is I'll attempt to climb and we'll see when events that transpire and then if we find her dead we'll just go back. I'll like cut off the episode then go all the way through this all over again. And then, when I get back to this point, I'll just be like, I'll just continue searching. So, let's attempt to climb. The nature of the carvings aff afford me plentiful places to cling to, and the first few feet of the wall are climbed easily. Higher 
than this, however, and my options become scarce and more perilous. I slip and fall, hand on the ground, grazing my knee into a blade mess and the dirt and rubble strewn ground. Great. That well, looks doesn't look like I'm going to be able to climb out. I mean, I'm killing myself at this point. Heck, why not? Wow, it's as if it never happened. So basically, what I think would have happened is if I kept trying to climb, I would have probably just died. I am dead, and this is the afterlife. I slipped and fell into the lake beneath the southern temple and drowned in the icy waters. If that's the case, I might as well just sit down and do nothing. But if that's not the case, then doing nothing wastes precious time. You think? Read that. Read that. Read that. I am in a large circular room, the edges of which are tire tired and conjure images of bleachers at an amphitheater. The center of the room is dominated by a huge thick stone disc the periphery of which is decorated by carvings of chanting, dancing men in serpent or tentacle adorned headdresses. Yep. The surface of the disc is grooves, segmenting the circle into seven uniquely sized wedges. The grooves continue along the vertical edges of the disc. There's another wider groove carved into the stone floor. Its purpose seems to be collect any liquid which flows from the surface of the... Yeah. Read that before. Read that before. Read that before. Read that before. It does not exist. If it did, it would defy everything we know of biology, physiology, physics, chemistry, science, everything. No one would find evidence before now, would we? We would have found evidence before now, wouldn't we? How could something so surreal, so unnatural possibly have remained hidden all this time? It cannot possibly exist. It can simply cannot. Okay, we're lost again. Uh huh. Okay. And here we are again. I su I've somehow found my way back to the spot where the light peels downwards from the outside world. I could attempt to climb again, but time draws on and I could see no signs of her yet. Is she lost from me forever? Would she want me to take this opportunity to save myself? Perhaps she's still here clinging for Sandy, knowing that I will come for her. But how could I? Because how could I not? Okay, instead of climbing this, just search for her. Read this. It's just going to keep repeating, isn't it? Gonna make the climb.
I have to escape. I hear that sound, that hard wet sickening slurp from darkness beyond this cavern. It's coming for me. I feel it. The agonizing slowness is scale of focusing on the light. Imagine warmth the after sun my skin. My mat back again, hopeless. I like shock. Can't stand so much pain. Great. Is that it? Well, I guess that's it. I mean, it was either that or we continue going in circles. So what I'll do is I'll go through this again and see if there's any other way to do anything. And if there is, great. But if not, this is basically it. So if I find something, there'll be another episode. If not, this will be it. So see ya. Later, guys.